Hello everyone, uh, my name is Chun Guo and I'm presenting for Australia. The title of our paper is Optimal Tetanus for Chain-Based Unique Signatures. This work is joined with uh, Willy Susilu. We are both from the University of Wollongong. In this work, we focus on this question, how to program a title deduction for a signature scheme when signatures are unique, meaning without using random numbers in signature generations. Security deduction is a popular method for security proof. In security deduction, suppose that just an adversary who can break a scheme, we reduce breaking the scheme to solving a hard problem. A security deduction is tied if an adversary can break the scheme with time cost T and probability epsilon, and we can solve the hard problem with a very close time cost and probability. A title deduction guarantees that breaking a scheme is as difficult as solving a hard problem. Digital signatures are fundamental primitive in modern cryptography. How to construct a signature scheme with a title deduction received lots of attention in the literature. Our community has also invented many intelligent methods for title security proof. With the efforts from our community, it's no longer hard to obtain title deductions if it's in a weak security model or it, it's under an interactive hardiness assumption or adversary with restrictions in computations like the HEM. The research question is narrowed down to how to have a title deduction under black interactive assumption in standard security model against general adversaries. Nowadays, it's also not hard to achieve title deductions with these three factors as long as signatures are randomized. In the standard screw model, we must simulate some signatures for the adversary before we receive a false signature. The high-level idea of title reduction using the randomized approach works as this. Since there are at least two valid signatures for each message, we program the simulation in a way that one signature is simulatable, means can be simulated. And the other signatures are reducible, means can be reduced to, sol to solving hard problems. Then when the adversary queued the signatures of a message MI, we returned a simulatable signature for it. Then there's no abort in signature query and the false signature is reducible with high probability. A consequent question is how to have a title deduction with these three factors, but without using the randomized approach. This question is interesting because unique signatures are special signatures where each message has only one valid signature, such as the well-known BRS signature scheme proposed 20 years ago. Then, randomized approach cannot be applied to have title deduction for unique signatures because there's only one valid signature for each message. The consequent thinking is, is it possible or not to have a title deduction for a unique signature scheme? Well, it seems impossible if all simulations have a common feature as this. An adversary can choose some message, make a basic hashing queries before signature queries and signature forgery such that the signature on each message is simulatable or reducible. And this kind of result cannot be changed by the simulator. It's impossible because the adversary can attack in this way. The adversary will first pick a message and make queries such that all signatures are either simulatable or reducible. Then the adversary will pick Q random of learn for signature queries and forge the signature on the last message denoted by M star. If there are two signatures are reducible, then definitely the simulation will not be successful because Q signatures must be simulatable. And if there's only one signature reducible, the probability is at most one over Q because of some kind of random choice by the adversary. There have been many excellent proofs with meta deduction showing that unique signatures or their generalizations cannot have success probability more than one over Q in the standard security model. 
On the other hand, it's also possible to achieve title deduction with, with the other four co-authors show how to do this in Crypto 17. The proposed signature scheme is called chain-based construction. Each unique signature is composed of n block signatures, located sigma one to sigma n. The key point is the signing structure like the blockchain. The block signatures, capital sigma M0, are treated as message and signed to obtain capital sigma M1. And capital sigma M1 are treated as message and signed again to obtain the sigma M2. In the security reduction for this uh, signature scheme, an adversary can still choose message and make hash query such that signatures on each message is still either simulatable or reducible. But the simulator has already solved hard problems from hash queries in Jenton Ogre model. So how can the simulator solve the hard problems with uh, hash queries? In the secure proof, each signature query each signature requests n different hash queries called from type 0, type 1, type 2 to type n minus 1. And before the signature query or message n, the adversary should uh, make type 0 query first, then type 1, and then type 2 sequentially. This is because of the chain structure. The adversary must compute uh, locate sigma i by itself for type i query which is some kind of uh, computationally hard without knowing the secret key. So given a CDS problem instance, the prover can set the secret key equal to A and program the response to type I minus one query with G to B. Learn the type I query from the adversary will contain locate sigma I, which is the solution to the CDH problem. The challenge of title reduction is that we don't know how many queries for each message the adversary will query before its signature query. The number ki for message mi is effectively decided by the adversary. Of course, if the adversary would like to forge the signature of message m start, it must make all n queries of m start. An important finding in crypto 17 is that, that capital QI to be the number of all type I queries generated by adversary. No matter how the adversary queries, there must be just a special integer I star such that Q I star and Q I star plus one is very close. It means that the rate is as small as one over QH to power one over N and QH is the number of Hashi queries. With this important finding, the prover chose uh, can choose one of type I star queries and respond to it with G2B. And then the CDH solution will appear in one of type I star plus one queries with a very high probability, which is equal to this. Currently, uh, there's uh, only one method for proving tightness of unique signatures, which uh, was appeared uh, in crypto 17. And the reduction loss is this, uh, which is uh, locked tight at least. The contribution uh, in this work are, we first show that the optimal, optimal loss is Q to power one of N, and Q is the number of signature queries. And we show how to obtain such an optimal reduction. We introduce the second contribution first. Our proof for chain base, uh, build a scheme works as this without changing the scheme, okay? Uh, having the CDH problems, we set the secret key equal to A. A key point is that we non-uniformly choose an integer C for the range zero to M minus one for each message. Then we plan to send the response to type I, type C curate as the change query I equal to C and this, the response has the G to B. And other queries are normal queries without G to B in the response. Okay, then suppose the adversary makes a uh, type zero, type one to type K of M before signature queries, we have this kind of results. If K 
is less than C, it means that the adversary has not yet queried the type C query of message M. And then we can change uh, or we just set our query to normal queries. It means then we can simulate the signatures. Okay, some kind of change here. And if K is C, we have to abort because we cannot simulate the signature. But if K is larger than C, then the hard problem solution has already appeared in type C plus one query. We consider the simple case that the adversary will make one signature query before the signature for tree. Okay. Now something big has appeared here. The success probability is equal to that. Uh, the probability of solving hard problem before signature queries plus solving hard problem from the forged signature when there's no success or not a bot uh, in signature query phase. Okay. So PS I one denotes the solve a, a problem before signature query and PF denotes the failure probability due to signature queries. The key question is how to have a high success probability. This page is the most important showing the key solution in our work. Here PR is the, is the probability. If P S star is close and no more than one over two, and the gap between P F one and P S one is constant and small, for example, as small as one over Q, then after one signature query, the success probability is slightly reduced only. Okay, one minus one over Q. We can extend this to Q signature queries, the lost eventually is still constant and small. Okay, but how to achieve this? We found this can be achieved with geometric progression. Suppose PFI is equal to one over two to power J and PSI is equal to the sum of all values on the left side of one over two to power J, then no matter what J is, the gap between PFI and PSI is always equal to one over two to power n plus one. And we can set this value very close to one over Q. And the sum of all values is close and no more than one over two. So our proof work as it follows. For each message M, there will be N types of Hashi queries. And we will choose a very special uh, C and that uniformly and G to B will be embedded in response to type C query with a different probability from one over two to n plus one to one over two to two. Suppose the other will make a type zero, type one, type K query on match M before signature queries, then we will have the different results. We have introduced this previously. So we have uh, this uh, important uh, probability. We have PFI when C to power B uh, is embedded in response to type KI curate on message MI. And we have PSI when C to B is embedded in response to any type CI, as long as CI is uh, less than KI, okay? KI is adaptively chosen by adversary, yes, but no matter what KI is, we have the gap of these two probability is always equal to one over two to n plus one. And for the four signatures, the adversary must make all queries and PS star is, is very close to one over two. And this is the main idea of our title deduction. With the, the above approach, we can prove that the chain based BR scheme will have the reduction loss four times Q to the power one of N. And this loss is constant and small when N is locked in Q. Okay. And next, we show that this kind of reduction loss must be at least Q to the power one of N. We use the framework of meta reduction by current uh, to analyze this kind of optimal loss. We first should construct a special hypothetical adversary. 
And then we need to simulate this kind of hypothetic adversary via rewinding. And if we can efficiently simulate this kind of adversary with error probability epsilon e, then the r will break the hardiness of chance with epsilon r minus epsilon e. The meta deduction shows that epsilon r cannot be larger than epsilon e. Otherwise, we can run R as an oracle to break the hardiness assumption. Okay. The challenge of uh, this kind of optimal analysis is how to construct this special hypothetical adversary and how to simulate this kind of adversary with error probability as uh, the detonate value. We consider a hypothetical adversary uh, attacking as follows. A set of message M0 are chosen. Some subset of gender messages will be also chosen, satisfying uh, MI has this uh, number of message. This uh, message size setting is to let the error probability the same, no matter how R program the deduction. Okay? The, the hypothetical adversary we are first make all type 0 queries of message in M0. The adversary will later make or type one queries of message in M1. But before this, the adversary will make single queries on all message in uh, M0, excluding M1. The last uh, type uh, queries is this, and actually it contains a signature of message M star. Because there's no signature queries on uh, or message M star, so the adversary can return this as the fault signature. To simulate such a uh, hypothetical adversary, the main difficulty is how to simulate or type I queries in red color because this hard security contains some block signatures and they are hard to be computed without having the CPP. And this problem is solved uh, with rewinding, and it requires at most n times of rewinding. Taking a uh, uh, T1 M1 as an example, after the the state uh, which we re re receive the response to has to T type zero, then before the rewind, uh, we uh, we we'll make signature query on our message in M1, and then we rewind to rewind. Uh, to the state after uh, type zero queries. Then we will make our signature queries on our message in M0 excluding M1. If that's not a bot by R, then we will be able to use uh, the signatures uh, before the rewind to simulate the type one queries in M1. Okay. The last is to calculate the error probability. The error occurs when there is just a, an integer i dash such that before the rewind, r cannot respond to the, the queries. Means that the simulated adversary does not uh, have the signatures. Okay. And after rewind, the, the r can respond to these queries. It means that the simulated adversary has to continue to make the following type uh, i dash uh, type i dash uh, queries or message in m i dash okay and the error probability is equal to this two event uh, when uh, i dash is equal to one we calculate the, the error probability based on the setting about how many signatures are reducible in M0, okay? And no matter what N is, there's no error, or the error is less than one over Q to the power one of N. Uh, based on this information and the result, we can calculate that the final error probability is uh, equal to, is this, which is the optimal loss. And this is the high level idea of our analysis. Conclusion, okay. How to program a kind of deduction when signatures are unique? It's non-trivial and 
any non-interactive hiding assumption in standard security model against general adversary. Currently, the only known title reduction for chain-based construction has reduction loss n times this QH to power one over n. And we prove that the optimal loss is actually is Q to power one over n. And we show how to obtain such an optimal law, optimal reduction with a completely different approach. We would like to thank uh, people younger for insightful discussion on the first version of this work in 2020. And we would also like to thank the anonymous, anonymous reviewers from EC21, 22, and Crypto21 for their very important and useful comments. Thank you.